What's up guys? My name is Kay Ramos and welcome to my channel where I share Christian living tips to help you gain clarity and purpose as you get closer to Jesus. So on today's video, I am excited to share with you how you can turn this card into a war prayer card. Before that, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and of course, click the bell button below so you'll be notified for more videos like this one. So I have a rolling cart which I got from Ikea a few years ago and I use it to put catalogs that I review in my previous business but since God closed that business and I no longer do that, it's basically sitting in the corner right now. So an idea came to my mind because I noticed that I keep carrying my Bible study tote and my warrior supplies every time I do my daily quiet time or Bible study. I also got inspired by the planner or craft cards on Instagram and I realized that this will be perfect as war prayer card. By the way, what is war prayer card? Well, I just made up the name, but it's actually inspired from the movie War Room and the War Binder, which I shared from my video here. Basically, it is a card that has all the supplies I need for studying God's word or growing my relationship with him. So I'm so excited to share this with you. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do it. I first emptied everything inside the card. Then I decided which will be on the top level based on the process I have. I will be using these trays that I found from Dollar Tree a few days ago when I bought my Bible journaling supplies. I have a video for that so make sure to check that out. I kinda regret not getting more of these trays and the tall ones because when I came back, they're no longer there. Yay! Here it is! My very own war prayer card. I still have lots of space and I can add some more in the future. But for now, let me show you what I have here. So in the uppermost level, I have my mini Bible reference library for my Bible study. In this basket or tote, I have my topical Bible, exhaustive concordance, a thin notebook, a dictionary, and my writing supplies. This is also the same kit I used in my Bible study with me video which I shared here. I like that it is in the basket that makes it easy for me to carry it whenever I want. Next are my warrior supplies for my daily quiet time with God. So I have my war binder here, which I already have a video about it. It will be in the description box below. My study Bible, 
my gratitude journal, my lessons journal where I write brief notes of what I learned during my daily quiet time, my prayer journal for my scripture writing and prayer journaling, my planner, and of course another pencil case for writing supplies. Sometimes I do my daily quiet time here in the living room, sometimes in the kitchen, sometimes upstairs. By having them in one tray and one spot, it makes it easier to carry them. On the second level, I have my Bible journaling supplies. I recently got a new Bible, Bible, which is the Reflections Bible. It took a while before I decided on what Bible to choose and I shared all tips that helped me make a decision in this video. I also made DIY tabs which I shared in this video. All links will be in the description box below. Anyway, I placed all my Bible journaling supplies here, so if I want to do a slow Bible reading or Bible study, I can do that. I have my highlighters, pen, and some stencils, which I absolutely love. Of course, I got them from Dollar Store. I also have these index cards, which I think will be great for memorizing scriptures. I still have some, quite some space, so maybe eventually I'll get some more stuff. On the lowest level are just my regular journaling supplies. These are different notebooks that I am using all at the same time. <laughs> that sounds crazy, right? That I have so many notebooks? But that's how I operate best. If I don't write things down, I don't get clarity. This pink notebook is for my brain dump where I write random thoughts or if I get too overwhelmed, I just write them here. This one is my other Bible study notebook. And these are some more random notebooks. I feel like I have to make another video about the kinds of notebooks I have. I also have this writing prompt journal to inspire me to write. Another one is a book that I am reading at the moment. I think this is it for now. As I said, I still have lots of space, so I'm happy with that. What I like about it is you can roll and easily move it wherever you want. I am enjoying this spot recently and I just like how easily accessible things are. That's it guys, I hope that this inspires you to create your own war prayer card. I really enjoyed this one and I hope you do too. If you find this video helpful, please give this a thumbs up and of course make sure to subscribe and click the bell button below so you'll be more so you'll be notified for more videos like this one. Again, this is Kay Ramos and thank you so much for watching. See you guys again next time. Bye!